Welcome to Bill's Bridge class, class 4, scoring. If you don't know how this game is scored, there's no way that you know how to play the game or what your strategy might be, so let's get into it. If the team winning the contract makes their bid, which means they make the number of tricks they contracted for or more, they get 20 points per trick made if it's a minor suit, clubs or diamond. 30 points per trick made if it's a major, hearts or spades. Or if it's no trump, it's 40 points for the first trick made and 30 for each additional trick. If the contract is doubled or redoubled, multiply each portion of the score by 2 or 4 respectively. Also add 50 points above the line if doubled, 100 if redoubled. We covered doubles and redoubles yesterday. Now, we're going to talk about contract bridge and then some diff differences with duplicate. They're based on the same structure but a little bit different. Bonus points. Only tricks that you bid and make are said to be below the line. All other types of scores go what they call above the line. Over tricks are made that are made beyond what you bid go above the line. To get a hundred or more points below the line, you win what's called a game. You're said then to be vulnerable. The first team to win two games wins a rubber. If a team wins two games without their opponents winning a game, they get a 700 point bonus. If a team wins two games but the other team has won a game, they get 500 point bonus. Slams. Bidding any contract at the sixth level and making it is a small slam. Bidding seven level is called a grand slam if you make it. <coughs> if you make your contract, you get in addition two points already covered, which includes the game bonus, a slam bonus. A small slam, not vulnerable, is a 500 point bonus. Vulnerable at 750. A grand slam, not vulnerable, is a thousand. Vulnerable is 1500. Honors. Honors count only in rubber bridge, not in duplicate. If one hand contains four of the top five trump, you get 100 points. If one hand holds all five, you get 150. And if you hold all four aces in one hand in a no trump contract, you get a 100 point bonus. Again, only for rubber bridge. Under tricks. That means getting set. If you fail to make your contract, you are said to be set. Opponents get points. If you are not vulnerable, each under trick is 50 points, and that's above the line. If you are vulnerable, each under trick is 100 points. If you were doubled, not vulnerable, the first under trick is 100. Second and third trick is 200. And subsequent tricks, if you set more than three, is 300. So you see it starts multiplying. So if you are really outrageous in your bidding and get doubled and set a bunch, you really get hit. If you are vulnerable and double, you double the number up above. The first is 100 points, the second is 400, and the third is 400, and the next one is 600. Ouch! If you're playing a redoubled contract, not vulnerable, it's 200 and then 400. If you're vulnerable, double that, 400 and 600. Double ouch. Differences between duplicate and rubber bridge. Each hand in duplicate is scored independently, which means there is no carryover of partials. Because of that, there are changes in some of the bonuses. First of all, honor tr honors don't count as we covered. Every east-west team plays the same board and every north-south plays the same boards. So scoring is made by comparing the scores with other teams playing the same hand. Vulnerability is pre-assigned as is dealer. 
and point difference is as follows. Honors don't count. A non-vulnerable game is 300 instead of 500 and a vulnerable game is 500. Making any part score is worth 50 points. Now let's do an example of duplicate. Let's suppose that there are four teams and we're looking at one hand, neither side vulnerable. Team one bids two spades, makes four. Four times 20, 30 is 120 plus a 50 point bonus is 170. Team two, opponents bid three hearts, they're down two. 100 points. Team three, opponents bid three hearts, down one, only get 50 points. Team four, they bid and make four spades, they get the game bonus, 300 plus 120, 420. Match points. You rank it from the best to the worst, and they're scored from the zero up to whatever the number of teams is minus one. So the best score is 420. It's team four. They get three match points. The next best score is team one. They get two match points. The next best is team two. They get one match point. And the worst team is team three. They get zero match points. Now what happens at the end of each this happens on every hand and you total them up for the entire tournament and whoever gets the highest score is a winner of the tournament. Vulnerability changes the scoring. If both sides were vulnerable, at the same hand, same score would have been team one bids two spades, 170. Team two opponents bid three, they're down two, it's 200 now because it's they're vulnerable. Team three opponents bid three, hearts down three, 300. Team four bid and made four spades, 620. They get the 500 point bonus for the game vulnerable. So now there is the scoring of the teams. Some strategies, and we're going to get into more of that in the next day or two. But it's, it's obvious that you need to be aggressive in part score contracts, especially in duplicate, because <laughs> 10 points can be the difference between top and bottom on a given hand, whereas in a rubber bridge, 10 points doesn't mean much of anything. Win the contract, even if you overbid a, a trick or so. You can get away with it. Down one is a good contract in duplicate. Press for game if close. It's worth the bonus points. In contrast, if you're playing rubber bridge or imp bridge, always play to ensure the contract. In duplicate, Play for over tricks if there is a reasonable probability of your succeeding. Third hand openings and fourth hand openings may be light. You need to stretch, especially if you have spades, because you can outbid your opponent if you have spades. Tomorrow we're going to hit a little bit more on strategies, what you need to think about as you play the game. See you Wednesday.